Hello, I'm Chris Guest, and welcome back to Children's Technology Review. Hot Wheels Infinite Loop is an online racing game for iOS and Android devices supporting up to eight players at once with a handful of game modes from traditional racing to 4v4 team elimination style time attackers. Children steer, boost, and drift familiar stylish Hot Wheels brand cars in flashy digitized representations of famous cities, tangled up in trademark neon orange racetrack. Racing is frenetic and satisfying as you rack up successive boosts by collecting nitro tanks and taking down drone cars to maintain maximum speed. Races are over in a matter of a minute or two. And then? Well, then you're dumped back into the game's menu navigation. Infinite Boost's greatest weakness is a haze of progress bars, timers, special offers, and subscriptions. Some microtransactions running as much as $100 packs for the largest amount of chromers. The game's hard to obtain premium currency. A yearly subscription to the game's premium deal is also available, which unlocks exclusive skins, challenge races, and quality of life features like extra item capacity. Every button press somehow leads to a loot box or prompt to spend chromers. A truck event requires you to own a specific vehicle class to participate. How to get a truck? Checking the Vehicles tab opens a long list of locked vehicles, each of which requires set numbers of parts to unlock that vehicle. The best way to get parts quickly is by opening loot boxes, which can be purchased with chromers, or earned by winning races and accomplishing daily challenges. Even if you get a loot box, though, you may need to wait a few hours for it to be ready to unlock. Or, as Vert Wheeler says, Waiting. It's the opposite of racing, am I right? You can skip any wait time with chromers. Encouraging impatient children to purchase the currency, then spend it to skip an already frivolous timer for a blind box you may have already spent that money just to obtain for an item you don't know if you want. What do you value more, your money or your time? Infinite Loop asks. This kind of practice leaves a bad taste in the mouth. While the game's user interface is generally sleek and its gameplay fun, the insistence on in-app purchases becomes frustrating and hard to ignore, as children who wish to avoid these offers or cannot afford them find themselves barred off from meaningful progress and bombarded by time delays to earn their content without paying. Infinite Loop is fine for a short burst of entertainment every so often, but it is by design willing to sacrifice fun for profit, so keep this in mind before booting it up for your child.